to look your best when taking a photo. It doesn't matter if you weigh 50 kilograms or 500 kilograms. These principles will help everyone. If you're taking a photo in a studio, or even if you're at home with your family or friends, always try to remember these tips. So firstly, you want to look natural and comfortable and just make it look easy. Don't be tense. Right? So one of the big things that make people look awkward is if their body's not aligned. So if their feet is pointing one way, their hips another way, and their shoulders the other way, oh, we see this quite a lot. Very awkward, very uncomfortable. So just think, which way do you want to move it? Alright? So it's always best to be at an angle. If you look at her now, you see her completely, but if you turn just a little bit, right, it's a lot more flattering. If you put your hand on your hip, and your shoulder is facing the camera. It's going to look huge. So always a good principle to remember. Whatever is closest to the camera is going to look the biggest. So all you want to do is push back your elbow just a little bit. And it looks a lot more relaxed. You're creating some beautiful space. And there you go. Five kilograms gone like that. The CCA diet. Ooh. All right. <laughs> So, once you've opened up, you're a bit more relaxed. We see with a lot of men that they cross their arms. It doesn't look very approachable. It doesn't look open. If you're not sure what to do with your hands, rather put your hands in your pockets. A good tip is go through magazines. Try and find some looks that you like. All right? Don't be too stiff. Just relax, relax. All right? A lot of people come in and their shoulders are very tense, very awkward. All right, just breathe. All right, so you want to have fun and you don't want to block your neck. All right, so if you want to be a bit more advanced, look for different hand poses, please don't block your neck. This we call a flat hand and it's very unappealing. It makes your hand look large. So you just want to turn it to the side a little bit. Very good, and still open up your neck. Good. If you're looking towards the camera and you want to create a feeling of maybe just looking off into the distance, try not to look all the way through to the other side. It creates a lot of white space in your eyes and it can be unflattering as well. So if you can have a seat for us, the next tip, right, it brings us back to whatever is closest to the camera looks the biggest. Now, if you can lift your leg for us, please. See how large her leg looks? Now, if you switch your leg, boom, five kilograms gone, just like that. Hashtag CCA diet. All right, so you just want to switch your legs again, large and lovely, right? Versus five kilograms gone in 10 seconds. All right, the same principle if you put your hands, all right, all right, change your legs, please. If you put your hands on top of your knee, if you put your front hand on top versus if you put your back hand on top, all right, it's a lot more flattering. So you always want to sit up straight, sit up straight, lovely, drop your shoulders, and you can smile, all right. <laughs> if you're creating a portfolio, there's different looks that we can go for, but don't be afraid to smile and just have fun. All right, so you can please stand up for us again. All right. Lastly, again, these tips can be used for anyone at home. All right, even if you come through to the studio or if you're at home taking group photos with your friends and with your families. Try to remember these tips and we'll see you in the studio.